Hi, and welcome back to Just Like Grandma's and Then Some. Hi. Don't go to <laughs> You'll end up. I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm okay. Alright, good. Um, today we're actually going to be making shipper's pie, like we said last video that we were going to be doing. My idea. Yes, your idea. <laughs> and we're going to be making it with chicken, ground chicken. Which is really good. I like it. So, so what you're going to need, you're going to need ground chicken or a meat that you can tolerate. If it's not beef, uh, you can do the meatless um, ground beef concoction that I did last video. That will work in this as well. But you're going to need potatoes. If you don't, you can't do the potatoes, maybe sweet potato or cauliflower. Boil the cauliflower and mash it as a potatoes. That'll work too. Use something that you can use. And the vegetables that I chose to use today is broccoli, which I'm actually going to chop up. I already chopped up a lot of it, but I'm going to chop up more of it. <laughs> uh, peas and some carrots. Now these are fresh carrots. As you see, I cut up most of them. And I'm going to be cutting this one up. And I'm going to par uh, par cook them. So when I put it in the mixture and in the oven, it'll really good. <laughs> I'm just making funny faces. <laughs> I'm so, so shaky. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Okay, so I did cut up pretty much everything, but there's some things I didn't cut up, just so you can see how big to cut them and stuff. So we're going to start with the potatoes because they're going to take the longest to cook. So as Marley slips. Now, I already peeled these and washed them and cut most of them. Now, I'm just going to... And I put it in a Dutch oven. This is a Dutch oven. Um, a lot of people don't know that this actual pot is called a Dutch oven. Um, but use the biggest pot that you have. So, you just... It doesn't matter if the remnants of... Those are on it or not. Basically, I'm cutting it as if I'm going to be doing home, like home fries in, on the skillet. And then just throw them in there. The smaller you cut them, the quicker they'll cook. At least that's what I find anyways. And I actually do have a bit of warm water in there already and I'm actually going to put a little bit of Himalayan salt in there just to help the process and I'm going to put that on the stove to get that going. And I already preheated my oven to three, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I preheated the oven to uh, 380, so it's all ready to go once once everything's together. Now I'm going to do the carrots. Now my carrots are small, so that's why they're you know they're small. And this actually is about after I get this one in there. It's about a cup of carrots. I actually have a cup of each of the vegetables. And since I'm steaming these, and actually my water is all set for the steamer. Yes. So that shouldn't take too, too, oh, sorry. That shouldn't okay. take too, too long. <clears throat> and now all I did with, because these are actually frozen ones, you just cut them up a little bit because they're the actual florets so just cut it up a little bit so it doesn't you can get it through the whole thing so that's that stuff there and that's good to go so basically I'm done with this stuff here and this is the ground chicken that's chicken ground chicken yes this is ground chicken looks like beef <laughs> It looks like beef my scratch chicken. I 
I like it. Ground turkey comes the same way, too. Oh, my God. And they're both good. I actually made chili with the ground turkey that I had. Hmm. It's really good. So while everything else is cooking here, I'm going to heat up my pan. And I'm going to start cooking the chicken for this. And I have all my spices out that I... <coughs> Most likely we'll be using. We have a guest with us tonight. Bless you. Yes, bless you. That's all good. Yeah. I love company. Now, this morning I actually had um, potatoes and, and onions for breakfast. So, I cut the whole onion up. And this is the half half of it. So we're going to be, I'm going to cook this up when I cook this up. And this lovely concoction here, it's actually chicken broth. Um, I made chicken broth a few weeks ago and I actually put it in ice cube trays and threw it in the freezer. And once they were all frozen, I busted them and put them in baggies, so I just have to pull out a few at a time. And actually, I took five of them out and put them in here, and I added boiling water to it. So that's going to be our going to be our like gravy concoction for this lovely thing that we're doing. That's almost ready, not quite. <laughs> We'll just be back in a few minutes once this gets heated. Okay, we're back. Uh, pan's all heated. I just put a little bit of olive oil in it. And right now I'm going to take the ground chicken and put that in. Preferably without hurting myself. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Yeah. Wrong, so. <clears throat> you Fine. You really need to take a picture of me washing my hands. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, they gotta, gotta know everything you're doing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Because I didn't want to just make them stare at Jacob for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Alrighty. Eh. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> I'm <you> stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to break this up. Because you want it like a crumble, because you're making shepherd's paw. You're also going to need a um, 9 by 13 pan, baking pan, and some tin foil for this recipe too. <clears throat> okay. I got this going here. And I like my onions actually cooked, so while that's doing that, I'm actually gonna throw them in there. That's <laughs> boiling potatoes. <laughs> that's the onions. <clears throat> Because it can all cook together nicely. And I'm going to take the lid off that. Throw it on here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Works. <laughs> and if you make too many potatoes like I probably did. <laughs> That's okay. You can always have it the next morning with your eggs. Mm -hmm. Fry the frying pan. They're not ready. I know, they just started boiling. So. Those are doing good. It's good to have a lid that actually works on both. <laughs> Now the spices we're going to be using on these, in this recipe, 
is going to be cayenne pepper and sage, oregano, parsley. Um, I'm even going to throw some chili powder in there because I like it. Some cumin. Pretty much all the, most of the ones that I have in my cupboard, I'm throwing in here because I like them. <laughs> so whatever, whatever recipes, any spices that you like, throw them in. And I meant to say res spices instead of recipes. <laughs> but you want this all nice and cooked. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Um, once we get this to the stage where I add spices and everything to it. Whatever you're ready. Okay, hi, we're back. <laughs> Um, just as we went to break, the carrots were done. So I put them over here, so that's ready to roll. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add about that much parsley. Add as much ingredients as you want to your mix. That's cumin I just put in there. This is oregano. Love oregano. Mm. I say that every time, but I don't care. Yeah, I know. It's all good. Some cayenne pepper. This is my sage, a teaspoon of sage, I guess. Normally I would put garlic in here as well. Um, I just don't have garlic. <laughs> That's the, I just don't have garlic right now. But, yeah. Always put, garlic's a good thing to put in there. And just a little bit of salt. Not much. So I'm just gonna mix this all up. Oh, that smells awesome. I can smell the spices. Oh my god, it smells like tacos. <laughs> Everything to you smells like tacos. Yeah. <laughs> well, especially when I cook. Yeah. Okay, so that's all mixed up. Now, the next step I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to take my broth. <clears throat> and I'm going to add, uh, this is um, starch, arrow starch. Uh, because I don't have, I do have cornstarch, but this does the same thing. That's one teaspoon. I'm going to see if I'm putting another teaspoon in there. I'm I'm going to have to pick up some more of these payday. I'm going to use my little whisk to mix it all up. Because basically I'm trying to make a little bit of a gravy when I throw it in there. Just gonna throw that all in there. <laughs> now, if you're doing a beef one, use a beef broth or a flavoring, something like that. But I'm gonna just let this boil for a little bit because it will thicken up, and then I'll add the vegetables to it. Meanwhile, I think our potatoes are done. Bless you. Thank you. Oh, and they are done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I'm just... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take this, and actually I'm going to put it in the colander I had in my sink from before. After I clear things out of my sink. Do-do-do-do-do. Usually I just drain it, but I'm using the lid for something else right now. Okay, so I'll just put that back in here. Now you can do different variation variations to what I'm about to do. I'm mashing the potatoes. So I just want to put my there. I use my brownie. I love my brownie. And 
yes, it's very old. So now I'm going to put some spices in this. As you see, I love spice. There's a sprinkle of this, a sprinkle of that. That was sage. Cayenne pepper, sage. Oregano. And I am going to be putting butter in this. Parsley. Um, I know it's strange because usually for somebody that has colitis and you're not supposed to do dairy and stuff like that, but I can actually do butter. I can actually have actual butter. I don't do margarine because of all the junk that's in it. I'd rather do actual butter. So I just mashed the little daylights under these. Actually, I'm cream, creaming them. Now you want it so they're all mashed. And you can also put cheese in here or whatever you want as well. Or sprinkle it on top. I don't have any cheese with me today. I don't have any feta or goat's cheese. Which is good. I don't mind that. Because we're making this so it's simple and easy. But you could very well, af at either after you mix all this you can add cheese or whatever to it just giving you variations I'm doing something that I know I can eat okay. I'm just going to throw that in the sink for a moment I'll clean it up later okay so that's ready to roll sorry okay. no, I'm just going to <laughs> Stay put. Put the cheese back on top of there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my vegetables to here. I'm mix these ones in first. Because these are the frozen vegetables. And then I'll add the carrots. And as you can see, just by adding that, it thickens up even more into a gravy. And it looks very green. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, now let's go for the carrots. We got them all late. So this here is a beautiful mixture. Looks so good, oh my god. Just like that looks good, doesn't yeah, it? I would eat it just like that, honestly. Yeah, well, we're going to throw it in the oven. <laughs> so I'm going to grab my pan. I'm actually going to move the potatoes over. Move that down. Move that over. You go there. And, yeah, you're going to have to put this side. <laughs> Use whatever size pan you think is best. I usually use this one, the 9 by 13 pan. Which for, if you're doing cakes, this is actually a quarter slab. Or if you're going to the grocery store and you're wondering, well what size is a quarter slab or whatever, it's a 9 by 13. And I could have used a smaller pan, but that's okay. Okay, so now that's all down there. Now, I'm going to take that off of there. And I need, I need, I'll use this 
two here, and I'm going to need to grab my cake thing shortly, so I can spread this out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they like to escape. You gotta make sure they go where they're supposed to. He's trying to. I'm just putting these globs in here until I can get most of it to the sides. <clears throat> and actually, I'm using all the potatoes. <laughs> And actually, that, that ended up being eight potatoes, I think. I think it was eight potatoes I did it. <clears throat> and I need to get my... Cake decorating devices work wonders when you're cooking too. Because <laughs> this is the offset spatula for cake decorating. It's my large one actually. Actually the one I use for my half slabs and full slabs. Basically what you're trying to do, you're trying to cover <laughs> the mix that you just put in there. Sometimes it cooperates, sometimes it doesn't, but that's okay. Now what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm going to sprinkle some pepper on top. You could do Parmesan cheese on top, like just sprinkle a little bit. I don't have that, so these are just <laughs> ideas. <laughs> Unless you want to go all the way to the store and buy some. Hey. <laughs> go for it, man. The thing is, he would. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe next time, maybe next time. <laughs> I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of pepper on there. And that'll be good. And I am going to need what's behind you. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> this here. <clears throat> I only put this on just to seal all the flavors in. And I'll put that in the oven for about, I'm going to say 15 minutes to get everything solidified and married, and then I'll take it off, and I'll take the tinfoil off, and put it back in for, say, five minutes on, on a broil, just to brown the top a little bit, and once I take it out of the oven to do that, we'll be right back. Okay. okay, it's been 15 minutes, so right now, I'm going to take it out, I'm actually going to put that on broil, and it's steaming, and I guess, there we go, that's what it looks like, that looks really good, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this back in the oven, under the broiler. All I want to do is just brown brown it so it's not going to be very long under here. I'm actually going to turn on the light so I can watch it because I don't want to burn it. I just want it to be a golden brown. Um, 
So that might take about five minutes, or maybe less, but I'm pretty sure it might just take five minutes. And yes, if you want to take a peek, you can. <laughs> you can't really see anything, but hey, it's all good. Um, but that shouldn't be too, too long. Actually, we'll be right back. Um, once this is that way I want to look. Nice. Hi, we're back. <laughs> I'm gonna shut that <laughs> off. <laughs> Somehow. So it's a little bit golden brown. I don't want to burn it. So. It just toasted the top a bit. I'm gonna throw it. We'll put it over here and let them throw it. <laughs> <clears throat> Looks good. And you can see all the gravy, it looks awesome. Love it. <laughs> so this is the shepherd's pie. It looks so good, I'm very excited. Me too. It looks good. Has all the layers there you're supposed to have. Taste and see what it tastes like. Without burning, burning our mouths. <laughs> it's gonna be really hot. It just came out. I know. <laughs> Why do you think I'm blowing it? <laughs> Hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> good though? Oh yeah, it tastes real good. <laughs> <clears throat> it's kind of hard to savor the taste when you're like, oh, all of a sudden you get this hot spot. Oh, yep, yep, up. Uh. <laughs> Try to melt down on it. No, it's really good. It has a nice taste to it. Uh, you can taste the chicken and all the vegetables um, and the spices, which I like. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, you can probably add more spices to it if you if you wish, and different spices. Um, it really depends on what you enjoy, what what spices you you like. Um, but that's pretty. That's it. That's our shepherd's pie that I that I made. Um, do, do you want to try some now or later? I'll try some when the camera's off. Yeah, I kind of figured that. <clears throat> Want to try some? No. Right now? Uh -huh. <laughs> I not on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah, not on the camera. <clears throat> not a problem. No, um, but I like it. It's really good. Um, so please enjoy. Um, keep being creative in the kitchen. And next time, I'll have to figure out something else that we're going to make. Not too sure what, I don't know. but we will be back with something. Trust me. And if you guys have any ideas of what you want, um, or a variation of something that you like, and you want to know a different variation of it, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do. So, until then, keep being creative in the kitchen, and we'll see you next time.